Hey there Islanders and welcome to our fourth editor tutorial video, this time about player roles. The first thing that interests us is the spawn point because that directly connects to the player role, so we'll move the spawn point where we want it. This will be the place the player will spawn at when he begins the game, so we'll put it in front of the door so he knows where to go. Now in game logics we'll find player role, right here at the top. We'll put it in, never mind where. And when we double click it, a window with properties comes up, resembling the entity one, but different entity and logic property windows have specific properties. Now, we'll name the role Adventurer, so we know which one it is. There we are. As you can see, we can edit script, position and rotation, though position and rotation aren't important, since the player receives that with the spawn point. The player will have the position and rotation set by the spawn point. That I choose through the spawn place here. On default, the one generated with this map is chosen. If I want to choose a different one, I do that by using the dripper and clicking on the desired one. Another important box is the override playlands equipment. On default, the player will have the clothes that he has set in playlands, if it's not defined differently in the role. And that's what we'll do now. So we'll click on the override option and then we'll choose our own equipment. As you can see, it looks very similarly to the inventory. It's the same icons. We add clothes through the add entity tab. Let's choose the clothes category. We add it by clicking on the item we want to give the role to and then clicking on the correct position. We can do the same with the player inventory, but we don't need that. If I want to delete an item, I right click on it. We can add whatever clothes we like. So, uh, we'll choose alchemist hat, bear hide armor, alchemist trousers, and let's say some boots, uh, the cowboy boots. We immediately see our creation in the preview. And here where the hand icon is, we can give the player something that he'll have equipped from the beginning, be it a tool, weapon, or any other item. We'll give him though the key with which he can unlock the doors that we locked last episode. If I click on any of the items here, I'll open their properties windows. It'll work the same with items in chests and other containers you might add. If you click on the items there, its properties will open up. Here with a key, we'll look at the lock cylinder ID. And there, we'll put the same ID as we did on those locked doors. So, one, two, and three. Let's put it in. There we are. Now the key will unlock those doors. Let's try out if we really manage to get it right though, through the test button. Here you can also set up other settings like the choice of role or even team if you'd like more of those. The test game starts up the same as a normal one from the pick spawn point. But you can also start the game from the camera position you are in the editor. We can also switch into character mode, which I'll show you now when I press O or I click here, and I switch into a character and I can find out where I can walk through and so on. I return by pressing escape. Right now, we don't need the animator test, which would test our animations. We'll look at those later. Now we'll press F5 or click here to start up the game. Whenever you test the game, the scenario saves itself, so you won't be able to use the redo function afterwards. So, careful of that. So, now we've spawned, we have the equip which we chose, and the key on our number 2 hotbar. The doors are, of course, locked, but we have the key, and with its help we can unlock the doors. We can unlock this one, and this one too. Now we'll return into the editor by pressing escape. Here we see leave game and we can either go to the editor or into the main menu altogether. We can also restart the test if we want to test it all again but we'll return to the editor. And that's it for today's episode. Next time we'll look at our first script and until then, stay classy Islanders. <laughs>